Gob free! Free as a bird! <laughs> Hello friends, my name is Brandon Dayton, I'm your humble narrator. Welcome back to Jurassic World Evolution. Oh my goodness, we're gonna jump back in. Make our park a little bit bigger, I suppose. I don't really know how it's gonna go. I think I got enough money to uh, to make some things happen today. But I still don't have, like, um... ACU, that security shit, and uh, the security guy hasn't even come and talked to me. I've been completing all these entertainment and science missions, and uh, I guess he feels left out or something like that. Which, you know, don't catch feelings. What's that about? Use the bitch. Haha, <laughs> use the bitch. Alright, so let's check out what we got in the uh, fossil center. Probably not a whole heck of a lot. Huangosaurus, Ceratosaurus. More Struthiomimuses. I guess I'll uh, try and extract the Struthiomimus, yeah? They're both high quality. Go ahead. Go ahead, try it out. Um, now what do we need to get different spots on the expedition map? Hmm, I should probably try that Edmontosaurus. Requires more expedition centers? Oh, so we need multiples. I see what you're doing there. And I lied, we only have 200,000, which means uh, I'm going to have to be very careful about where I pick. So I'll send some dudes to Canada, I guess. Have fun, you guys. So my mission, incubate and release the Triceratops with 70% genome. Crap! I don't, I don't... Oh, here it is. Okay, we did it in the last one. Ha <laughs> ha! I totally remembered. Don't worry about it. Here he goes. Here he comes now. Speak of the devil. Oh my goodness. Don't cry, it's just a dinosaur. It's fucking fantastic, dude. And there's the other Triceratops print screen. <laughs> They're friends now. They're best friends forever. Disease contracted. Here are the Triceratops using a ranger team. Oh god. Do I have to... Oh no. How could this happen? Oh my gosh, you got a sick dinosaur on your hands. It's time to trade it. Or what comes next, that's going to be on your hands as well. Or what comes next? You know what I'm talking about. So uh, press R to bring up the ranger station hotkey so we can cure a dino. Go ahead, do it. Add task, medicate dinosaur. Setting additional task. Outstanding. And, uh, Jeff Goldblum? Jeff Goldblum's voice finds a way. Yes, indeed. Alright, so, uh, we're medicating a dinosaur. Super. Super duper. And then I gotta photograph the two, uh, Chinasaurs that I have. Hmm. Maybe I should also add some more feeders, because this thing seems to be, uh, really popular. Everybody's liking that. Look at them all. You guys aren't gonna fight, right? I hope they're friends. I, I hope they're friends. Alright, so what you gonna do? You shoot it? Oh my god, they're shooting it. You got- you- are you- are you okay? Holy shit, this is causing some- some chaos. They don't like being shot at. <laughs> oh my god. They are basically the worst shots ever, but eventually they, they managed to do it. So good job, Ranger Team 1. Oh, transmission! Hooray! A million dollars! Fuck yeah! Give me that million dollars, kid! You don't it! We're on the path to a pure strain dinosaur. This will definitely shift the paradigm. I can't ignore this accomplishment. Oh, with your Indeed help, not. obviously. That goes without saying. But under my direction. I think we make a good team. Let's do this again. I'll let you know when. I've witnessed Dr. Dua flail and fail before. Now with you, she believes she is on her way. Does she really think she can accomplish what I have not? Oh my. Sounds like Henry Wu is a little, uh, a little jelly. So, can I photograph two of them from here? Two Chinasaurs? How about it? No dinosaurs found. Okay then. 
Outstanding. I'm gonna chase this thing around. Hey, go over there. Go over there. Where's your friend? I don't even know where the other uh, the other one is. Do we have another one? Am I supposed to photograph them separately? I have so many questions. All right, I'm gonna try and get a good photograph though. Roll up on them. Hey, buddy. How you living? Looking pretty good. Looking pretty good. Hey. Let's collect a reward for this photograph. Multiple dinosaurs bonus. Composition bonus. Composition's fucking horrible, but you know what? I'll take 5,000 bucks. That's a nice little way to uh, pass the time. Make a little extra dosh. Hey, hey. Ho, ho. All right, let's see what we got in the uh, fossil center from our last expedition. Hmm, Edmontosauruses, Edmontosauri. Well, they're low quality. I'm just gonna sell them. That'll refund half the cost of the expedition. Well enough. Let's try and get this other Quangyosaurus. Is that, am I saying that right? So Quangyosaurus. I should perhaps build another expedition center. That could be cool. Triceratops. I guess I'm gonna send it out to uh to get to get some more Triceratops DNA. Argentina. Man, how many expedition centers am I supposed to build? Just one? This game doesn't have a lot of answers for me. They just kinda of throw you into the park. They're like, hey, figure it out. You'll figure it out, you're fine. Gift shop, fast food, ranger team. I guess I should build that, like, uh, ACU? What's it called? Oh. Yeah, the map. Management views. Enclosures. Fences, gates. Maybe we could double fence this shit. That would be pretty neato, wouldn't it? I also do want to build uh, a second herbivore feeder. There you go. I'll build it closer to the viewing center so people uh, people can see it a little bit better. Looks about right, doesn't it? Well enough. And then we've got this ACU. That's a pretty penny, 400,000. Only one expedition center may be constructed per island. Oh, why are you going to do that? Well, fuck it, I say. Um... Z and X to rotate the building, not Q and E. It's rotating your, your camera angle there. I don't think it can fit over here. Do I have to chop down some more trees? Come on, bro. Why are you going to do that? Build cost obstructed. I don't really know what that means. Oh, oh, there we can build it. Go on. Go on, get it. Closer. Closer. Fuck it. Good enough. I'm bringing this contract oh to you while it's still hot. Successfully incubate a small herbivore. Hmm. What what kind of small herbivore? Is a Juan Huayangosaurus a small herbivore? Does anybody have answers for me? No? Okay then. Let's go down this way. And then we'll come over here. Come on, bro. Connect it? Is it connected? It's connected to me. Maybe we could have some adventure. Adventure! Just in case one of these herbivores breaks out. And I need to incubate that Huang Hu Huyango. Whatever the fuck it's called. The Chinosaur. You know what I'm saying. A little bit of rhodium. Sell it. I need money. I need money! A couple high quality Triceratops fossils. Can we extract two at the same time? Oh, no. But you can queue them up! That's pretty nice. Let's try to incubate that Huayangosaurus. Um, and I did modify the genome just a little bit. So it's got uh, Arid Pattern. Arid Pattern Genome. Hmm. Defense? I don't, I don't, skin toughness. Cool, cool. Profit per minute is 90,000. That's pretty sweet, bro. Let's 
let's go ahead and incubate this thing. I'm sure it's going to be a hit because we modified the, uh, the DNA. What we've done here is created genetically modified theme park monsters. Nothing more. Do not, do not uh, address John Hammond as a genius because he's not. Dayton does is the real genius here. And he's so humble. The humblest of all. Look at this Struthio Midas. My god. I love him. I love him already. How about you? How you doing, buddy? Just want to check some stats and stuff. We probably need another Edmontosaurus because his social meter is, like, super low. Which I guess that's what that means. He, need he wants to socialize. He can't talk to the Triceratops because he doesn't speak their language. You know what I mean? Triceratops is doing okay. He's pretty sociable. Uh, how about you? Poyangosaurus? Yeah, we need another one of these. So hopefully that counts as a small herbivore. And then I can make the, uh, the entertainment people happy. More entertainment means more dollars. That's what I'm about. So, um, another expedition? Does that sound fun? I guess, I guess it could work just fine. We're only at like two and a half stars. We need to get to five stars before another island gets unlocked. So I think that's going to be quite a little while. Successfully incubate one small herbivore. It worked! That's exactly what we needed. All right. The new animals Hooray. have been delivered. Now to cash the check. You're the MVP on this one. I am the MVP. Hooray. Whoa. Here we go. Your rep is off the charts. So you're getting a reward for the entertainment division for your work on Isla Man and Saros. Isla Man and Saros. Yeah, this Wangasaurus definitely does look different from the other. And the social meter is creeping up. That guy definitely helped us reach that two and a half stars, which we weren't at two and a half stars before. But we were close, so I guess that's uh, the most important thing. What do we do here? I can pilot a helicopter? Holy shit. That's awesome. Alright, let's try not to die. Hooray! Cruising! Oh, can dart some of them? Dart rifle. What the fuck are we doing? All right, bring me, bring me in closer. I want to dart this sucker. Ah, uh, yeah. That didn't work at all. It's a lot of a uh, drop to that bullet. Contact made. Yeah. Cool. That that worked nicely. Now he's gonna go sleepies. <laughs> All right, then. All right, then. So, are you are you sleepy? No. He looks, he looks the same, doesn't he? There's a, a sad welcome to the exhibit. Hey, bro. Welcome to the exhibit. Uh, we're going to shoot you with a dart now. ACU chopper's heading back. I guess let's get Ranger Team over to the uh, enclosure there. I really like how you can drive, but I think that you should be able to uh, scare pedestrians out of the way. I think if I just drive through, nothing happens. Yeah, you can't hit anybody. They're just like, whoa. Hey, bro. Be careful, dude. Hey, man. Don't do that. Uh, I'm, I'm the, the park owner. I can basically do whatever I want. I do what I want. Huyangosaurus. Excuse me, excuse me. Can I get you to go over here? God! Jesus! Okay, I should be able to uh, get the two of them. Crap. Species repetition penalty. What the fuck? No multiple dinosaurs bonus. That's sad. To collect a reward, but yeah, I need to uh, I need to get this a little better, a little better angle. Hey, bro, could you could you look at me? Well, I guess that'll do. 
gives me that. Did I photograph two of them? Do I have to photograph them separately? Oh my god. They're walking through each other. Hey, hey, hey! Everybody, easy! Easy! What are they, horses? Easy! Just take it easy, fella. Excuse me. This red Montessaurus, could you move your fat ass? Thank you so much. Move your tail, dude! Storm warning. Storm warning? That's not good. Buyangasaurus socializing. Took this photo all by yes. yourself, huh? Got it. <laughs> took this photo all by myself. Call me Papa, Papa, Papa Roxy. We need more people like you. More people like you. Genetically modified dinosaurs no for your own game. No matter what anyone else says, <laughs> science is what makes or breaks us. Admittedly, sometimes both. But on Isla Matanceros, you are making us and yourself look good. And that's worth a reward. Hooray! Reward me! I could be the best. Oh, fuck. Storm warning. I should probably have built a... Uh... Uh, what is that? Emergency shelter. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what I need. Come on, everybody. Get to the emergency shelter. It's an emergency! And all these people are probably going to be pretty upset. Pretty upset at something that I can't really help. I don't know what to tell you, man. I don't know what to tell you. Oh, crap. We need to get uh, some security stuff going. Hey, brah, can you uh, give me a quest or something? Or you don't want to talk to me? That's cool. I get it. You know, you are here. I wonder what the next island we unlock is. Isla Muerta? That sounds dangerous. You will die here. Please do not go here, lest you die. Okay, emergency shelter is almost constructed, people. Just please be patient. Thank you so much. All right, it is it is ready for your usage. If you would uh, please step this way. Or not. Or not. I guess it's just a, a little storm. We good. <laughs> we good. Um. I want to make that Triceratops. I want to make it even better. So go ahead. It says partially depleted, but it's only partially depleted. So go ahead, get over there. And let's see what we can research right quick. I want to genetically modify my dinosaurs even further, yes. Alpine cosmetic genes. Dang, that's pretty cool. You could get all this aggressive instincts and shit. I don't know why you'd want to make the dinosaur better like that. Make it aggressive, make it learn faster. Intensive repair and immune response are probably worth getting. So let's go ahead and research that. Alright. I need research points. How am I supposed to get those? Help me. Mm-hmm. Okay. I guess you get research points from, um... What is that? The, the, the... The different shits. Oh, research teams? I don't know if it's points or teams. But now we've got, uh, another diseased dinosaur, so... That's wonderful. Good job, guys. Good job. At Montosaurus? How did this happen? Please... Adding task. All right. Task added. Things are going pretty well. Not too bad, if one would ask me. Maybe I could build another enclosure. A little enclosure. Would that be a smart idea or not? I mean, honestly, probably not, but I kind of want to. It would uh, increase the quality of my park. Significantly, you see. There you go, Ranger Team. You know what? Let me let me medicate. 
I'm gonna medicate him. Let you need to medicate that animal if you are to save it. Yeah. He's medicated as hell. Alright. Cool. No sources of common cold remain in the park. They're just getting a common cold? How does a giant reptile catch the common cold? What is anything anymore? Oh, uh, we got some fossils as well as some silver. Always a pleasure to work oh with. Oh my! You. Make at least two hundred thousand from the sale of items found on expeditions. Well, that'll be an easy one to do. We're already halfway there. Shazam! More triceratops. We're gonna make a perfect triceratops. Oh yes, I am determined. Research is complete. I guess to complete that uh, profit from expedition sales, we're gonna have to go on another expedition. So, uh... Canada. We haven't gone there, but it's only Struthiomimus. And then Ceratosaurus. I guess let's try this. I'll wait on that uh, Triceratops for now. Show me my research. Can I, can I do some more research here? Two research centers required. Why, why you gotta do this? Why you gotta do this, bro? Intensive repair. Regrow lost tails will significantly promote healthy tissue regeneration. I guess that's good if you don't want your dinosaurs to, like, die and shit. Which I don't! Oh, and I also need the clothing shop. Crap. That could help us make more money. More money? I like money. All the feeders are good. All the dinosaurs are healthy. Yeah, this park is, is coming together, isn't it? Alright. I'm so tempted to make another another enclosure. For now, I'm just going to uh, double up these fences. Is that is that smart? Can they attack this viewing viewing room? Oh my god. You never can tell. I don't think there's any aquatic dinosaurs in this game. No flying dinosaurs, no aquatic dinosaurs. Which represents uh, quite a problem. There's also, doesn't seem to be like much, um, much pack mentality going on. I mean, the Edmontosaurus, or the Triceratops and the Hwangiosaurus do interact. But I think if I put uh, a giant Ceratosaurus that would eat them, I don't think they'd team up. Look at this Struthiomimus, dude. He's fucking cruising. Where you going, bro? What you doing, man? It's like, I need some alone time in the bushes. Alright, dude. You have fun with that. Maybe he's trying to break out of that fence. My god. He's calling for help. <laughs> Just kidding, he's dumb. You ain't gonna do that. Alright, research team's back. It's basically just a lot of farting around. Struthiomimus? Low quality. Yep, get rid of these. I don't play with low quality fossils. Psh, what do you think this is? Go ahead, send it to the Museum of Natural History. They'll, they love that sort of crap. <laughs> Uh, some buildings, building upgrades. Oh, yeah, that's important. Improved power output, power upgrades, fossil research, incubation time. I guess the power upgrades are what I would want to go for next. That seems fairly important. But then we've also got this t-shirt shop, which, you know, who can who can resist some entertainment whoring? Huh. You just whore your, whore your dinosaurs out. Go ahead. It's fine. I'm going to extract this Ceratosaurus. But I'm probably not going to put it anywhere. Unless I end up building the, uh, the other containment... Containment structure. Because obviously you can't put carnivores and herbivores together. That's asking for trouble. Research complete. My, that was quick. Alright. 
Give me more research. I need more. Improve power output. Introduces a 5% risk of power outage. Ooh, that's that's bad. Maintenance units reduce upkeep costs of upgraded power stations by 10%. Earthing units reduce the risk of power outages at upgraded power stations by 10%. So 5% versus 10%, which means you should still experience no power outages, right? Right. So, okay. Go ahead and get that improved power output going. Then I can, uh... Build a t-shirt shop somewheres. Yeah, you guys wanna remember your trip to Jurassic Park, don't you? Go on ahead. Right across from the uh, the food court as well. That'll be nice. Then uh, while you're eating, you'll just be looking out the window at a t-shirt shop and you'll be like, oh, baby, we should get some t-shirts. We should get some t-shirts so we can remember our trip to Jurassic Park. Because nothing bad has happened so far. So it is a thing that you'd want to remember until you get attacked by dinosaurs. Which at my Jurassic Park you're not going to get attacked by dinosaurs because they're all herbivores. Look at them. They're just, they're just fucking chilling out. Having a good old time. Would another viewing gallery help? Hmm. It's so hard to know what to do. It's so difficult. Oh, I don't know. This viewing gallery has like a, a decent so amount of range. So you got dinosaurs your guests want to get oh, up oh. close and personal with. The thing is, they can't. Construct facilities to increase visibility and keep visitors the right side of the safety glass. I want to give them those little balls to run around in like they did in Jurassic World. Ensuring your dinosaurs can be viewed by guests will improve your facility rating. Okay, so, as long as it's in, like, another spot. I see. Use a combination of viewing galleries, viewing platforms, monorails, and gyrospheres to cover your enclosure. How do I get gyrospheres? What the fuck? <laughs> That's what I really need. Alright. Where did I find that? Monorail research required. Arcade, toy shop, fossil zone, bar, bowling alley, restaurant. Wow. Wowzers trousers. Alright. Viewing station. Carnivore feeder. Oh my. Live bait feeder. I gotta research that viewing platform. And the gyro station. Most of all, the gyro station. Oh yes. Yes, indeed. So if I put another viewing gallery here they cannot hide from the dinosaurs or the the dinosaurs can't hide from the guests unfortunately these fucking things require power so I'm kind of reluctant to do so let's see what we found on expedition amphibian fossils sell it contract that complete expedition was a success in large part because of you take a bow but don't expect me to clap Dude, you better fucking clap. I did your stupid little quest. What else do you want from me? What a dick. Hmm, reputation, contracts. Yeah, let's request a contract. We need something from security. Uh, this is Lambert. Hey, bro. security. Yours, theirs, and mine. Welcome to the islands. So here's our basic Bye, conundrum. We want to keep our animals under control while simultaneously encouraging instinctive behaviors because these animals have potential as combatants. Look, everyone's fear object, myself included, is to have these animals running free and loose in the park. But we can't exploit them globally without taking some chances. <laughs> At least he calls it like he sees it. He's like, we're exploiting these animals. <laughs> just just uh, get some more animals to exploit and I'll give you some money. Okay, cool. Hatch and release two new dinosaurs. That seems simple enough. Gotta keep them contracts rolling in. No slacking. So let's do a Struthiomimus and an Edmon Edmont Edmontosaurus. Edmontosaurus. Hmm. So we've got uh, a couple of genes that we could apply here. Savannah pattern, arid pattern. 
And then lifespan, cardio strength, immune response, resilience, robust digestion, intensive repair, immune response. What the fuck is robust digestion? Brings the, the viability down. That's, that's not good. Oh, these bring it down even more. But maybe the dinosaurs work mo more if it if it gets hatched. Okay. So let's do immune response and was that savat savanna pattern? Okay. We happy? Incubate. And I said an Ed Edmontosaurus. I want to play with his genomes as well. I should probably take a note of how much it cost before. Okay, 170,000. And then what happens if you uh, play with all the genomes? Oh, there's nothing that I can do with this genome? That sucks. The hatchling and Hammond Creation Lab 1 was too weak to survive. To incubate. Oh! I never said bringing back dinosaurs was gonna be died. easy. Of course, Struthiolimus died. Man, just negative one percent viability brings the the total viability down to like fifty nine percent. So this is going to be an expensive endeavor. I don't even know why I would try and do this because it's awesome. Probably because it's awesome. So yeah, it does get more expensive if you modify the genome, which makes sense to me. Oh, poor Struthiomimus. I guess into the trash it goes. <laughs> this is so sad. All right, try it again. We'll see how it goes. I could end up wasting a lot of money here. Expeditions. Go here. Oh man. I'm fucking all these dinosaurs up. Maybe I shouldn't play with their genes too much until until I get some, um, like, solid 100%. Yeah, just null, null genes. I don't wanna, I don't wanna screw you guys up too bad. Okay, I'm sorry. I was playing Mad Scientist and I should've, but I shouldn't have. <laughs> and I should've. I should always play Mad Scientist. Alright, I'm just gonna fix these guys. I'm gonna put them back to the way that they was, because I'm not a monster. They're the monsters, not me. <laughs> All right, just use frog DNA. That's fine. Uh, incubate that one. Hopefully, it's not gonna fail, or else, or else I screwed something up pretty heavily. I think it's gonna be fine. This should make our Three park words. rating go up. Contract you, yes. Oh! Unearth a small or medium herbivore fossil, the type of dinosaur that would eat from a ground feeder. Okay. I... Oh no, they're, they're on an expedition now for fucking Ceratosaurus. So, this is not going to be able to be completed until the, the next expedition. Which I think I'm going to send them to China. Oh no, wait, what was that other one? This one. Portugal's unlocked. Oh! <gasps> But it's also Ceratosaurus. I don't know if I want to do that. We should just go to China. I mean, it's really far away. You know, under five thousand. That ain't that ain't no cheap school field trip or whatever. But that's fine. Um, dang, closed shop. Not damaged. Connected to the path and powered. Can I? Oh yeah. We could change the price of things. Mm-hmm. Ho ho. Generates 246 income, but the running cost is 180. Total profit per minute, 66. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, jack up the the price of the hats. Sell it for six. Go ahead. Go ahead. Do it. Oh, I guess I just go like this. Oh yeah, twelve dollars. 
You're gonna, you're gonna get a hat for, for $6? It's gonna be at least 12 dude. Oh, and we also have this, all this stuff going on in the creation lab. Okay. Bring me my Edmontosaurus! Hey, buddy. Your brothers died. Like, you made it. Congratulations. Aww. So gorgeous. I love when they stand up on two legs like that. So fucking majestic. It's basically a giant frog. It's got frog DNA in there. Dude, look at that. It runs on the side legs. My god. You must be super thirsty. It's okay. It's coming from the sky now. Here's my other studio, Minus. I knew you Huzzah! were the right person for the job. The rightest person for the job. Yes. Struthio Mimus. Interesting. Another dinosaur that furthers the case of a direct linkage to our modern birds. Oh, look, he's so hungry. There you go, buddy. Let's have a good old time, huh? Oh, security's talking to me now. Here. I've got a new assignment that I think is perfect for your skill set. Give it a once over, then let me know if you're interested. Huh. Need a test dinosaur for the security appraisal. Acquire 50% of Edmontosaurus genome and we can proceed. Mission will fail if the mission required dinosaur is killed. I've got an Edmontosaurus with 50% genome. If that's what you're looking for. Glad to have you on board. As you can imagine, the animals in the various facilities are constantly probing for weaknesses in our security systems. They're smarter mm -hmm. and more devious than people give them credit for. But I refuse to underestimate their capabilities. That's why I'm always testing and evaluating our security protocols and barriers. And this is where you come in. I've got to give this guy Lambert his due. He actually sees these animals as both opportunity and threat. <laughs> I mean, they are. They I'm are need both you of those to extract things. enough DNA from fossils to incubate and hatch a dinosaur. This is the first phase of this mission. Carry on. Carry on. Well, thank you for your permission, okay. sir. Okay. Next, you'll need to incubate the animal in a Hammond Creation Laboratory before releasing and housing it in an enclosure. You'll also want to make sure we've got an ACU presence on this island. We have an ACU presence. He wants me to incubate another Montosaurus? Come on, bro. Would that be okay? Yeah, I guess social meter is pretty low for him. Alright, we can do another. This time I am gonna fuck with its genes, though. Because I want to! I really want to! Maybe you shouldn't screw with them all. Just go like, what do you want? Resilience or lifespan? Hmm, I guess lifespan's good. Resilience. Immune response. Lifespan. Immune response. So what if you put it in the same dinosaur twice? Dang. That could be killer. But the viability's better with cardio strength, so that's what I'm gonna go for. Apply that gene. Incubate this dinosaur. 190,000, dude. What? That's crazy. But at least our money is creeping up because uh, I'm sitting around with my dick in my hand a whole lot. That's fine. Expedition for small or medium herbivore fossil. That should be completed as soon as the expedition team comes back. Let us continue uh, researching things. I let this fall by the wayside for just a minute. How about this here? Reduced power upkeep? No, I want... yeah, outage protection. Because now we've got a 5% risk of power outage, so I want to negate that as quickly as possible. Very well, very well. Incubate and release an Edmontosaurus research item from ACU Research Center. Oh, we need to research the reload speed. Damn it, dude. That's crazy. Okay. How much time do I have left on this? Oh, God. Four minutes. All right. That's fine. That's fine. Everything's great. Don't 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 worry your pretty little head. Ah. Oh. Expedition is back. I've heard good Contract things complete. about the expedition. 
You certainly made the science division a star. And me. And of course you too. I'm not forgetting, just prioritizing. Ha oh, oh, ha oh. ha. I'm not forgetting you. I, I think you are. I think you are. I guess that's okay. We've got more information at the InGen database. Before I release this at Montasaurus, I really want to uh, research that reload speed thing. Because I think he has some, some foul ideas in mind. He's like, hey, let's release a dinosaur on the unsuspecting public. Oh, really? You think that's not going to negatively affect entertainment in the park? I mean, it's good entertainment for us. <laughs> But that's not what we're here for. We're here to make money. Lots and lots of money. Aww. Was Ducky in at Montasaurus? I think, I think that's what, what she was. Remember that? Land Before Time, anybody? Better remember that shit. There's like six of them. Something like that. Ah. Uh, gorgeous. Gorgeousness and gorgeousity come alive. And now the uh, population meter's creeping up. I don't know what social really means. I guess it's okay. Authenticity, 60%. Lifespan genes, plus 11. Yeah! Hell yeah! We get one star for our dinosaur. Oh, you get stars for authenticity. That should be more authentic. Alright. So it's not enough to just churn the dinosaurs out. You gotta make them authentic. Let's see what we got here. Expedition map. Hmm. This seems like a good place. There's lots of, uh, lots of dinos here. But I've also got this... This place I haven't been to at all. Alright, everybody, we're going to Portugal. Probably gonna come back with a bunch of meat eaty meat eaty dinosaurs, but that's that's fine, I guess. Hmm. Should probably get this viewing gallery together as well. Small power station. No, not a power station. What's that called? A substation. That's what I want. Alright. Outside buildable area. Oh, it's like right on the edge here. We're living on the edge! Um, it's gonna cost a lot of crap to get the road over here, isn't it? Well, I guess it's gonna be fine. No power, no shit. Alright, let's go here and there. Done and done. Now I need uh, a little bit of a road. Follow the yellow brick road. Follow the yellow brick road. Follow, 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 follow the yellow brick road. All right. This should swing right by the substation now. I'm gonna build that other viewing gallery. That's what I need. Then I know where I'm going. Follow the yellow brick road! Okay. Seems like a lot of wasted space to the left over there. How can I make it better? Ah. I don't know if it's gonna be any better. Sure, just do it there. Well enough! Let's see if we can build this. So there. And is it powered? I think it's powered. That substation doesn't need anything by it. You run the cables under the ground, fuck Todd. Is my research done yet? Can I can I check on that? Uh building upgrades. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um we wanted accuracy, no. Reload speed, yeah. Reload speed. Gives me that. Less than one minute remaining. Super duper! As long as I can remember it. What did you bring me back? Oh, rhodium! Quite generous. 
And Ceratosaurus fossil. I don't want any of this. Thanks, but no thanks. It is a good way to get money, though. I don't really know what money will do after a certain point. But that's fine. Let's go to this place with, like, a bunch of, yeah, lance formation. Right. This next bit is gonna sound a little crazy, because frankly, it is. But we are gonna encourage one of the dinosaurs to breach our containment grid. We'll then react and see if our procedures and personnel are up to the challenge. Yes. That's exactly what so I thought So at this point, I'd say. like to take back everything I just said about this guy. What the fuck? I've looked this gig over. You uh. should too. Open the enclosure gate or otherwise let a dinosaur loose to attack the guests. Are you kidding me? Okay. I, I don't know why we would do this, but I'm just, I'm just gonna see how it goes. Dinosaur threat. Hopefully the it's just ACU, a screw minus. Asset containment unit should be your first port of call to bring down a rampaging dinosaur. Oh, it's an Edmontosaurus. Get him. Danger to guests. Oh god. I should have I should have should have done more research on this. I'm sorry everybody. I'm sorry. Okay. Please remain we have calm. Our runner. Time to tag him and bag him. We're using less than lethal, but remember, that dinosaur doesn't know this is just supposed to be a drill. So watch your back. Holy While I shit. understand the need to keep our security as sharp as possible, this is not the way I would go about doing it. You have a problem with how we keep you safe, Doctor. I'm happy to discuss it at a later time. Right now, we have <laughs> our hands full. Look at this fucking dude. He's having such a good time. He's like, I'm free! Free as a bird! Yeah, kinda. Oh, my star rating just went to shit, dude. I only have one star now? Is it gonna go back up after we contain this thing? God, I hope so. Fucking madman. The fucking madman. Are you seriously missing? Okay, they got him. Good job. How do we transport it? Use AT ACU shortcut. You'll need to, to call transport. in the offshore transport okay. team to safely move this dinosaur back to its enclosure. Select destination. Uh, Heading to pick here. up the asset. Well, that was interesting. <laughs> I, I, that guy's fucking insane. There's a reason I wasn't talking to that guy. Anyways, friends, I'm going to call it for this episode. That was super, super interesting. And we did learn a few new things, so that is quite nice. As always, please don't forget to like, comment, and or subscribe if you did enjoy the episode. It is always, always appreciated. As well, uh, we've got links in the description to Twitter, Discord, Patreon, if you'd like to support me on any of those. Big thanks to MMX Akira for supporting us on Patreon. Uh, all the reward tiers are listed over there, so click on through, check it out. But no pressure, you know. It's just if you if you'd like to help, you know, if you'd like to. But I'd really like it to. <laughs> Anyways, friends, thanks once again for watching. This has been Jurassic World Evolution. I have been Brandon Dayton, your humble narrator. I shall see you in the next one. Hopefully, our star rating will go back up again. We, we've got some some patching to do, but uh, at least we got money. Anyways, I'll see you in the next one, for real sis. Until then, friends. Bye bye bye. One, two, three, four. Goodbye, goodbye, see you again. Goodbye, goodbye, see you, my friends.